Hey, welcome to Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to do a simple buttermilk biscuit recipe right out of the Lodge cookbook. Y'all stay tuned. So here are the items you're going to need. You're going to need your 12-inch Lodge Dutch oven. You need a box. This was the 20-ounce uh, box of Bisquick. You're going to use most of that. Five cups needed for this recipe. You've already got it in this bowl. You need some buttermilk. You need one egg. You need a little bit of salt. You need some Canada Dry club soda or any kind of club soda. Be careful when you open that up, too. I, I just opened that and cracked the lid on that thing, and it about blew up on me. You need a little bit of sugar and a large mixing bowl. And your, your little cookbook right here. Okay, so we're just going to sprinkle some of that Bisquick mix out right on our surface here. Get it good and floured. Now if you've got some wax paper, you can use that, especially if you're out camping somewhere and you don't have a nice table like we have here. But if you're doing this in the house, you got a granite top, you already know if you're baking at all that that makes a great surface. We are also trying out a new mic today, which hopefully uh, is successfully set up and playing with it. You guys, let me know how the sound's turning out today. We had to actually get a Sony brand mic to work with our Sony brand camcorder, our camera. Doesn't seem to like any other generic brands of stuff. I can see that club soda is really puffing this up. I've like I said never never seen that before. I'm gonna pat these out about three quarters of an inch thick. Make sure they're not sticking. I need to get some more more stuff up under there. Flour would probably work better than Bisquick for turning these out. But you know, the whole purpose of these easy recipes, you don't have a lot, so you don't have a lot of ingredients. So about three quarters of an inch thick, and we got a biscuit cutter. You could also use the top of our, uh, or just use a tin can with you know the lid off. Okay, so we're gonna cut those out and we'll peel away. Okay, so here's the uh, Dutch oven setup. It's gonna be eight coals on the bottom. And if you got some little tiny ones, you know, kind of count that as a uh, half a coal, I and mean, then I got a broken one, so that'll make up their eight. Let's go ahead and put them in a ring, like we do always. I want that ring to be about the size of the bottom of the pot of your Dutch camp camp oven. Okay, gonna get that warmed up, and then we're gonna season or grease the inside of this real well. Make things easier and that's just on the fire, I'm going to spray it with some canola oil spray. Okay, 
All right, and we're preheating the oven now, so I'm gonna go ahead and Alex call them for 17 coals on the top. Just gonna be the rest of the ones I have in my chimney here. We'll give a count of those and then I'll get right back to you. It's been about five, six minutes. Get that oven hot. Let's go ahead and start laying our biscuits in and we're gonna start in the middle and work our way around. We'll see how many we can actually fit in there. So you're gonna get about that many. That's seven. So they're good sized biscuits. Let's get the lid back on. 12 to 15 minutes, and we're going to keep rotating the lid every couple of minutes. Right, let's go in and take a look at it. It's been over 15 minutes. They're not browning. Uh, they puffed up pretty nice, but they didn't brown. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to paint the tops of them with butter. This is in the recipe. Paint the tops of them with butter. They look, they feel about baked. We got some more coals going. The day is pretty windy. Um, we're using some Kingsford long burning charcoal here. So, paint the tops of them and let's give it some top heat. Let's go ahead and brown them off. Put about another 10 coals on the top. Spread them out evenly around the edges. We got some of the small ones out in the middle. You know, bring that temperature inside the Dutch oven up. I don't think it ever really got to where it, it should have gotten to. With the amount of coals that the recipe calls for. And that's uh, some advice for you. Just because it says X amount of coals for this amount of time this is proof right here we followed the recipe book exactly and it didn't work out like the recipe book says so this is why this can be fun <laughs> you know because it is a challenge it's not the oven uh, it's not going to come out perfect every time you're going to have to adjust and that's what we're doing right now so let's give that about another five or six and we'll check it again Okay, it's been about five or six minutes since we put the new coals on. Now we're looking real good in there. So we'll go ahead and take them off. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get these out. I'll try to get them all out as one big deal. I don't know if that's going to work. They're breaking apart, but we're going to put them right up on the Dutch oven lid there. They are nice and flaky, I'll tell you that right now. Quite a bit different than uh, biscuits I'm used to making. So now let's give one a try. Okay, let's bring down one of our biscuits. They're really flaky. I guess that's from the, um, the club soda, not real sure. Really flaky. We got some butter. Gotta have some butter on the inside. Get a little butter on the inside. Now the way I like my biscuits is with some honey. Here we go, some nice, some local raw honey. I'll drizzle that right over the plate. There you go. Basic biscuits from the good old Lodge Camp Dutch Oven Cooking 101 Cookbook. So, you know, we had to make a few little adjustments there on the, on the cooking process from the cookbook. And that's uh, one of the main things I wanted to kind of stress to you. When you're following someone else's recipe, 
and you've never done it before, you may have to make those small adjustments. And, and luckily we did it, and, you know, and everything turned out great. Uh, the bottoms of the biscuits are not burned at all. You can see that right there. They're perfectly golden brown. Because when we added that heat, we did not add any heat to the bottom, only to the top. So they look awesome. I'm going to give it a try. It's really good. A little different from what I usually make, but I'd eat that all day long. Guys are back. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there. To subscribe to our channel, you can do it right here. And every time I try to do this, uh, this old uh, Texan uh, warplane flies over my house. So check out the end screens. We'll see you next time.